Got a super chat coming in from Daniel. What up, Daniel? Touchdown. Okay, wait. First touchdown, Mitch, is going to be Jason Witten. Need you five days a week for a show. If I did five live shows a week, I mean, I already do two on our main chat sports channel. And I do one for the Raiders, so I'm about to be doing hopefully four live shows a week. I mean, I would appreciate it, but uh, we need a little bit more subscribers here. Maybe once I get to 100K, five, five Raiders live shows a week. Maybe people are talking. All right, let's go to Raider Joke. And remember, to get on the show, you can super chat or you can use hashtag Raiders. Hey, Mitch, do you think we should trade LaMarcus Joyner and a third-round pick for Jamal Adams? If that's all it took for Jamal Adams, where do I sign? I get that y'all like Joyner. I shouldn't even say like Joyner. You guys don't really like Joyner. But why would a team that's looking for at least a first and a third do a trade for a guy who's coming off his worst statistical season he's ever had? And then for a third round pick, like honestly, it would probably have to be like LaMarcus Joyner, a third, and then maybe even like a second, and you might get mad at me for saying this, maybe another first. Jamal Adams is one of the best safeties in the entire league. Let's go to Juice Head. What up, Juice? If Carr struggles in the cold weather again this season, would it be a surprise if we saw Mariota starting? I mean, if you want to talk about another quarterback who his entire career has shown that he's not very good in cold weather games, Mariota's another one, right? So I don't want to just say in cold weather games because hopefully it's not cold in September. Hopefully it's not cold in October or else there's some crazy things going on with the weather. I think the only way that we see Marcus really come into the football games this year is if Carr A gets hurt or if he's just that bad. I mean, he has to be really, really terrible in my opinion. I think when you look at all the moves that we've made offseason, it's built around Derek. I think you give Derek a shot. I don't care what the win-losses come out to be because if we're 0-4 but Derek's putting up great numbers and our defense isn't playing well, I'm going to stick with him. But if he's not playing well, sure, that's why you went out and got Mariota, and that's why he is the highest paid backup in the NFL. Eduardo, what up, brother? Do you think the NFL will start on time? Eduardo, my question to you would be, are you subscribed? And do you watch the Raiders report when we go live? So I gave this one four Chucky heads, and I said, yeah, believe it, baby. So right now it is scheduled to start on September 10th, and I believe the Super Bowl is scheduled for February 7th. I think all systems are a go, and I can't wait for there to be some football. Hang on, need to hydrate. So yes, four Chucky heads, believe it, baby. So I want you guys to help me hit my goal, okay? I'm trying to get to 48 thousand subscribers by my next live show so you have a week one week to help spread the word here i'm at 47,458 i'm trying to get to two live shows a week and i think if we can get to 48,000 subs by next week that would help me with my argument to my bosses so hit that sub button take the link below youtube.com slash raiders report and send it to every single raider fan that you know tell them to subscribe tell them to join the live shows that's how we continue to grow here so hit the sub Spread the word, tag me on Twitter, tag me on IG. I'm more than happy to help uh, spread the word myself. So subscribe, youtube.com slash Raiders Report. All right, let's get to these uh, questions. I got one from Lucas. If Amik takes the starting job away from LaMarcus, what teams could we trade LaMarcus to? It's a good question. I think if LaMarcus Joyner loses his job, you're not going to get a lot for him, right? And also, I'll say that I think the Raiders just kind of hang on to LaMarcus for a little bit of depth, and then you move on from him the following season because I believe it's only a $2.5 million cap hit if you cut him in 2021. I'm hoping LaMarcus can put it together. When I think about what he did in 2019, obviously, statistically, one of his worst seasons, I want the 2018 version of LaMarcus. That's what I want. All right, let's go to Blake. What up, Blake? Appreciate the super chat. And remember, super chat, you jump the line. I know there's a lot of questions in here. So Cameron, Ossie, Obi, Jesus, if you want your questions on the show, probably easiest way is to uh, super chat. If Amik Robertson shows up, should we trade Joyner? I have a big bias for Robertson because, excuse me, he's from my hometown. I think it could happen. However, I am still going to put my money on LaMarcus. I think he's going to play better in year two under the Paul Gunther system. So Blake, appreciate the super chats. And I told everyone at the beginning of the month, Whoever sends in the biggest Super Chats, I'll show you that I appreciate it, and I'll show you every single week that I'll put them on the show. So here are my biggest Super Chats in May. Robert still has got the record with 300, and then JC, he's on there twice, and yes, the $69 one, I did a, did a mustache. If you guys want me to do another mustache, I think we need like a $100 Super Chat because <laughs> uh, it did not look good. Let's go to Kenny. What up, Kenny? Mitch, my brother, how you feel about the Raiders' home game prices? 3000 for the lower level is ridiculous. I'll buy NFL Sunday ticket for 12 years. Um, 
I know that they're expensive, right? Now, there's two ways to look at this. Like, you could look at it from, sure, it's going to cost us an arm and a leg to be able to go to a football game. But you can also look at it as a positive thing where the more money the Raiders bring in, the better it's going to be for this organization. Now, I'll be the first to say, like, I want to go to games, and it's hard to be able to flip that kind of bill. But when you are charging this much, the Raiders are selling tickets like crazy. They're up, I believe, 570% from last season. They have some of the hottest games. When you look at the 10 biggest games in terms of market value, the Raiders are six out of those 10. Yes, it's expensive, but if it does help our team win, I mean, I hate to say it, but yeah, I'll, I'll pay the money. So if you guys want to be able to go to Raiders games this year, I want you to do your part, okay? So the Raiders face masks, they sold like wildfire. Now, I had to make a new offer, okay, because they sold so quick. So if you want these Raiders face shields, go to chatsports.com slash Raiders face shield. They're only $24.99, but because the other ones sold so quickly, these right now, they are on back order. You'll get them in July. So don't miss your chance, because if we do have to wear a face mask, you don't want to be the guy that shows up with one that just looks like a nurse. No, you want to wear something cool, go get one here. Also, another offer, chatsports.com slash Raiders World. If you guys need a t-shirt, I got you hooked up. It's $24.99. So if you need a t-shirt, if you need your face mask, I got you covered. Both of those links, they will be in the comments. They will be in the description below. Go ahead, support your team all year round, and make sure you guys are being safe. That's all I ask. Let's go to Lynn. Linden Fogg. Who will lead us in receiving yards this season? Okay, I like this question. I think when you talk about the top players in terms of leaving, leading this team in receiving yards, I think it comes down to Tyrell. I think it comes down to Henry Ruggs, Hunter Renfro. And then also, you got to mention the guy who's not shown on screen, Darren Waller. Because Waller last year led the team 1,145 receiving yards. So let me know. Henry Ruggs, Tyrell Williams, Hunter Renfro, Darren Waller. If you think it's going to be somebody else, hey, I wouldn't be upset because I mean somebody else came out of nowhere and started the ball out. For me, though, I am going to put my money still on Darren Waller to lead the team in receiving yards this upcoming season. Let's go to BW. Where's the M? Raiders defense cracked the top 15 in total defense in the NFL. If so, are we a playoff team? In order for the Raiders to be a playoff team, yes, they need to crack the top 15 in total defense. Now, the issue with that has been the Raiders haven't been top 15 in terms of yards against or points against since 2002. So that was the last time the Raiders were top 15 in both of those categories. It's been a very long time. If you want to just talk about being top 15 in just one stat, that's points against. That's all the way back to 2010. I know we rip on Derek a lot, but it's been the defense. That's been the reason why we haven't been winning football games. So if you want to shout out right now on the show, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go on my Instagram. It's at MitchellRens365, and I'm going to give a shout out to every single person who follows me right now. All right, we'll keep the uh, Q&A going here. We got 619 people watching, only 200 likes. Let's get this up to 300 likes. I would appreciate that. Let's go to Liam. What up, brother? How many sacks will we rack up this season? So last year we had 32. 2018 we had 13. I The number that I've kind of been around is like 44. I have a lot of confidence in Rod Marinelli. Now, I thought Buckner did a great job last year. But I think Marinelli is going to be able to get the most out of Malik Collins. I think when you look at Mo Hurst, he's set to have a breakout year. If Klila can play better, if Max can do exactly what he did, then you have Carl Nassib, you add Nick Wachowski. I think Corey Littleton's also going to help in that sack department. So how about this? Over under 44 sacks. If you think we're going to have over type O, if you think we're going to have uh, under type U, the common ones I'm seeing 55, I see a 40, I see a 69, of course. If we can get the 55 sacks, that would be uh, that would be very impressive. Let's go to Manny. What up, Manny? Can we still sign Drake Kirkpatrick? Can we still sign him? Of course. Do I think it's going to happen? No. Like I think the fact that we were able to go out and get Prince Mukamara for the price we did is great. And I think if you're going to go out and get Drake Kirkpatrick, it's kind of sounded like Dre wanted a little bit more than the vet minimum, which is why there were reports that the Raiders actually talked to Drake Kirkpatrick before signing Prince Mukamara. And I've obviously talked about him a bunch and I know he's a player that Paul Gunther likes as well. However, if you ask me right now, what are the chances of us getting Drake or Patrick? I'd say less than one Chucky head. Let's go to Trelly Bo. What up, Trelly? Mitch, do you think Muse will start at linebacker? So, Trelly, I like that you asked this question. Go check out our defensive roster battles uh, show for those of you that are watching this after live. 
But for those of you that are watching it live, I'm going to be coming up with some position battles here on defense. And yes, you will see Tanner Muse. Let's go to Is He Izzy. Jonathan Abram equals Jamal Adams 2.0. Wow. Mm. I mean, if that's the case, I would love it. I think Adams has a lot of upside. The one thing that I think could make Abram Adams is his leadership. When you go back and you really look at a lot of the notes that some of the Mississippi State coaches had on Abram, they said his leadership. And then I know a lot of people, when a or Adams first came out, they said that he's actually one of the best leaders LSU has ever had in their uh, program's history. Both are hard-hitting safeties, but if we can get him up to Jamal Adams' speed, that's great because I think he's one of the best defensive players in the NFL. However, I don't think he's there, but I think it's like Adams is up here. Abram needs a solid year, and then I'll put him in the same conversation. Jay. Where's your t-shirt, Terrell? Do you think we should bring back Amari? No. I, I do not want Amari Cooper back. Like, the one issue that I had with Amari was he didn't show up realistically, and he's kind of already said that he wants to stay in Dallas. Plus, I mean, we talk about spending money. Y'all want to really, so I mean, Amari's, what, five years, 100 million, 60 million guaranteed? Would you want to give that type of money, plus give up draft capital for a player who clearly showed that he didn't want to be on our team? The answer to that to me is no. And if you agree that you want no part of Amari Cooper, I want every single person to start typing no. Because sorry, my man, I ain't, I ain't taking Amari back. So my DMs, they are open. I saw that we had a lot of uh, questions come in today, and I always appreciate that. But if I missed your question, I'm sorry. I'll be honest, there's a lot to come in. After live shows, I go on my Instagram. I check my DMs. So if you haven't already, give me a follow on IG and send me your DM. I would appreciate that. And once the show's over, I'll go answer it. Raider Nation, what's going on? Is this the number one Raiders channel on YouTube? For Chucky Heads, believe it, baby. And if you haven't already, subscribe right here. I'm giving you Chucky Heads news, rumors, Raider Nation rumors, and look at this. I'm making your life easier. Check out my next video. Thanks for watching, and go Raiders.